Hi, it's Chester at Blue PKN Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to combine rows into a single cell. We'll look at four different scenarios of increasing complexity. And the first one here, I want a table listing my teams. And then in the cell next to the team letter, I want all the names of the people in that team. And we're going to use Power Query to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is house this data in a table. But to do that, select any cell, go up to insert table, or use the shortcut key control T. This dialog box just confirms the range of cells that are in your table. My table has a header already ticked because we already have headings. Then give the table a name. We'll call this teams. Then what you're going to do is click Somewhere in your table, go up to the data tab and in the get and transform data group, click on from sheet. Now, if you have an older version of Excel, it will say something like from table or range. That will launch Power Query. And what we want to do is group on the team column. So if I right click up in the header up there and choose group by. So I'm going to group by team and I'm going to create a new column based on that grouping. And the new column name is going to be all members. The operation will choose a sum. Now, this will cause an error because you can't sum up text values, but you'll see how we'll deal with that error. The operation that I'm going to perform the calculation on is the name column. So there's my error. Now it's getting an error because it's trying to sum up the names. What I'm going to do up here in the formula for this column is change the function to text.combine. Text.combine has two arguments, the column name, the field name, and then the delimiter. So if I put a comma in, in quotation marks, I could put my delimiter in. So I'll say comma space. Click at the end of the formula, press enter. I get all my members grouped on the team letter. Now to get this back into your Excel spreadsheet, close the load, close the load to existing worksheet or new worksheet, depends where you want it. I'll put it up here, click on OK. If I wanted these teams in alphabetical order, I can do that. So if I added myself to team B, I need to do is refresh this table, right click refresh, and there I appear. Okay, next one. On well, this one, we are going to get all the scores for each player in one cell. Start by converting to a table. Name the table, scores, data, from sheet, group by player. Right click, group by, new column name, all scores, operation sum, column you're performing the operation on is score, click on OK. Now you can see what it does here is that because it's a numeric value, it actually sums up the scores. So there's actually no good. We want to treat it as text. So I'm going to get rid of that group rows step. Click on this little cross button. And what I'm going to do before I do the grouping is convert this to text. So to do that, go up to this little button here, change the text, add new step. Now let's try the grouping. Right click, group by all members, count row, sum, on score, click on OK. Then I can go up here and use text combine. Put in my delimiter. And I get all the member scores. Close and load. Existing sheet. And there we are. And if I add another score, bill, 454, 
right clicking here, refresh, Bill gets another score. Okay, next scenario. So this time we've got two different games. So we want to group by player and game. So again, convert to a table, name it. So we'll call this two games. Can't have a space in the name. So we used an underscore data from sheet. Now the first thing we'll do is convert the scores to text. And we want to group on player and game. So select player, control game, right click, group by, new column name, all scores, operation sum, column score, click on OK, text.combine. Delimiter, it's going to be a comma with a space. Press enter, there are all my scores. So I'm going to sort by player, and then by game, and then I'm going to load to the worksheet. Existing worksheet. So if I add another game, Bill, game three, let's add a game three. 111, right click, refresh. We get another line for game three for Bill. Right, the next one, a bit of a different scenario. What I want to do is list all the products purchased in each transaction in one cell. So convert to a table, call this transactions. The reason why I'm naming these tables is because in the queries and connection pane, makes it easier to see which query or which table we're dealing with. Otherwise it just says table one, table two, table three. I just think it's much easier if you name your tables. So data from sheet. First thing to do is to fill down all these transactions. Right click on the header there, fill down. Next I'm going to merge these two columns so I can have the product ID and the quantity together. So if I select product ID, shift quantity, right click on one of the headings, merge columns, separator, we'll say it's custom, and I want a space, a hyphen, a space, quantity, colon, name for new column, item, click on OK. Now I'm going to group by transaction ID. So right click on transaction ID column heading, group by, New column name, all items, operation sum, column item, click on OK. Text.combine, tell it what the delimiter is. And this time we'll say it's a semicolon and a space. At the end of the form, we press enter, close and load to. Existing worksheet. And there we are, I've got all my items in one cell. So let's add another product ID to the last transaction. If I right click here, refresh, it adds that new item to the transaction ID. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.